I don't know who told you that if you settle your water spirit that you're committing sin. I don't know who told you that. Hey lovers of Asecrate, how are you doing? If you see my face for the first time, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Val and on this channel we talk about skincare, product reviews and natural ways to solve your problems. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that anytime I post a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. And to my amazing returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your love for me. So today's video, I will be talking about natural ways to solve your problems yes it's been so long that i drop a video concerning spiritual tips here mm -hmm. it's been long like i don't i can't remember yes it's been so long okay today i will be talking about the reasons why you cannot be settled in marriage yes the reason behind that i'll be talking about it and also i will be talking about for those of you who always go to the river to the sea to to put something inside the river fruit whatever just because you see one youtuber talking about it go to the river drop things there but they don't tell you the procedures before going there yes so if this is what you want to watch stay tuned and watch this video to the very end yes watch this video and if you know that you don't want to watch this video please don't drop any comment that is offensive here please don't drop any comment please i'm a christian mm, i love god i love god because i know i know that god is the owner of the heaven and the earth i know that he is the reason why i am breathing is the reason why I am here. He is the reason why I'm alive. God is the owner of everything. So please, if you think that you love God more than me, thank you so much. Please just click, screw this video. Don't don't play it or drop any comments, please. Okay, so if you want to watch the video, sit down and listen carefully. Okay, I'll be be as calm as to explain explain in detail so that you will understand me very well unlike skincare you know this one is something that you need to understand so that you won't make mistakes yes okay so first of all the reason why some women men are jumping from one marriage or relationship to another is simple is because they haven't settled their spouse in the water yes they haven't settled them because some people think that it's only women that have this water spirit no men do have it if you know you know that you have this water spirit and they have been telling you to go and settle your spiritual husband your spiritual wife and you haven't done it go and do it because a lot of people will not be settled. They can never be settled. They can never be settled in their marriage because of these spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. They will keep disturbing you. You will not be settled. Some women will have one child for a man. They will leave. Go to another one, have another child. They will leave there. They can never be settled. Not because they don't want to be settled. In one marriage no but because of their spiritual husband that they have there they can't be settled same thing goes to the man okay the second thing is that a lot of you go to the river by yourself you take fruit all kinds of fruit you go there and throw it inside the water pray blah 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 and you live there mm? no you are doing it wrongly you are doing it wrongly before you embark on the journey of going to the river to drop any fruit there to go for anything for any prayers for any prayers 
consult someone yes a diviner or go and do consultation yes do consultation they will tell you the river you the river you are going to not every river that you see you just go there and buy fruits and just throw it inside the river and pray and live there and you want your prayers to be answered like that no okay so if you want to go to the river for prayers or for whatever go and make consultations yes go and do consultations they will tell you the river you are going to let's assume in your place you have a b c d river then maybe because the b is close to you then you decide to go to that to to b river and make prayers no go and make uh, go and make consultations they will tell you if you are going to the river you might be in you might be close to b but they will say no go to d because that is where your water spirit wants you to make that prayers go to d and make that prayers that is how it works don't just take fruit and go there and when you are going there you are not going alone unless the water spirit demands to see you it demands you wants you to come by yourself if not you are not going alone you go with someone you are going with someone after making consultations if you have two three people in mind consult them they will know who is going with you it is not everybody that can go with you you see priestess you see priestess you know someone who has done his, uh, her olokun whatever in my language we call it olokun who has olokun who has done it to the highest level that person can go with you not everybody if your water spirit wants someone to go with you you have to make consultations if you have two three people in mind go and consult who is going with me that my prayers can be answered yes if you want to go don't just wake up one morning and take fruit and go there and they have market days that you can go to the rivers and make prayers stop praying and mist because some of you will say i have done this so i went to the river and i prayed this and that and that if you do it wrongly your prayers will not be answered it's like you buying fruit and throwing it throwing it away inside the doors bin everyone has the spirit that controls them you if you have water spirit whatever spirit that you have you go in there you consult it you consult your olokun pray when you go with the priestess she will be the one to do the prayers for you yes she will be the one to pray the prayers for you okay so she will do the make the prayers for you then after which you can as well pray your own prayers tell the water spirit what you want tell then pray your prayers just pray it stop going to the river all alone by yourself one day you go lost to do you know the powers surrounding waters do you know the do you know the powers that is surrounding rivers you are going there all alone one day you go and you not return stop going by yourself unless your water spirit demands to see you alone want you to come by yourself and make the prayers by yourself be careful when you are doing this prayer and when you are making these prayers don't go inside though you want to feel the water stay at the side of the river don't go inside you you know that you have water spirit and you are going inside the river to make prayers hmm. be careful what you don't know make consultations and i don't know who give you whoever told you that i don't know who told you that if you settle your water spirit that is a sin everyone each and every one of us came from somewhere yes so if you know that you came from river that you have this water spirit go and settle your water spirit and stop being deceived by people that don't even know what they are doing or saying 
nothing is wrong in you serving God. Pray to God because without God, all these things will not work. Okay? But be careful. Because a lot of you will end up single. A lot of you will not get married as long as, as long as you have neglected the source in which you come from. You, they will not let you have peace. They will not let you have peace. So go and settle your water spirit and have peace in your life, in your marriage, in your relationship, in your business. Go and settle your water spirit. Okay, guys, if you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel so that I'll be giving you more of these tips. See you in my next video.